pernicious negative stereotypes of marginalized people that offend even some among them should be changed. It's well, not that hard. Well, Notre Dame's fighting Irish teams and leprechaun mascot finding themselves in a fight against political correctness. ESPN host Max Kellerman saying they should be changed even if it only offends some people. A few people, we should say. But our next guest is fighting back against that argument, writing in a new op-ed that some, that's some standard, the handful of offended Trump, the majority of unoffended. Notre Dame argues correctly that the university is highlighting its own heritage rather than appropriating imagery from others. Leave the leprechaun alone. <laughs> Here now is the author of that op-ed, Wall Street Journal, consequential uh, columnist, Fox News contributor, Notre Dame alum, William McGurn. Bill, can you believe you have to stand up for the <laughs> leprechaun? <laughs> What's yes. going on? Yes. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I think the larger point is, again, a few offended people can trump other people. Uh, Mr. Kellerman, who made this, is not Irish, but he's appropriating my outrage, which I don't have, and most, most Irish people don't have. Well, what is it about I'm the Irish? Fighting? I don't know. I'm Me, yeah, I, I, I never thought of it as being a troublesome mascot. Well, it was an insult originally, you know, it was meant to uh, stereotypes about Irish. But the, because the he's Dame, fighting. Yes, but Notre Dame embraced it. And fought back. And, and at the time, the 20s and 30s and even the teens, you know, Catholic immigrants were struggling. So Irish victories, uh, Notre Dame Irish victories, were their victories. And that's why they, that's why it became so popular. Well, Bill, explain to me how that, that right there, yeah. a leprechaun that's not real, by the way. <laughs> yeah, leprechauns that's don't racist. exist. Well, I'm not, I wouldn't go that far saying they're not real. <laughs> yeah. ah. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's it's more but, offensive, isn't it? But, but <laughs> it is it is ridiculous. And the larger thing about logos is, by definition, they're cartoons and caricatures that exaggerate mm -hmm. features. Um, and people getting all puffed up about a cartoon is just well, Chief so Wahoo silly. off the right. Indians. He's uh, after being there since when the Indians started in the 1930s. Right. So now he's gone this year. And he's, in some ways, more a symbol of Cleveland itself than just the ball club. You know, it's right. just, it's just it, look, I think that the truth is a lot of these movements are about nothing more than ruining things that ordinary Americans enjoy, whether it's standing for the national anthem at a football game right. or a leprechaun or, or, or a statue of Christopher Columbus. But what does it say about where we are as a nation where this is what we're talking about? Yeah, I think it's sad. It means that people, um, everyone sort of knows it's ridiculous, but so few people uh, are willing to stand up and and make it count. Why? Because I think because like people say, do you want to be hailed as a racist or this for a logo for a sports team? So if you support that that leprechaun, you're a racist? Yeah, although I put it this way, you know, one of the things I said is um, Notre Dame to me is the larger issue is it's a sign of healthy cultural appropriation. You know, when I'm sitting there and I see African American, Asian American and Latino um, come out, the uh, athletes come out wearing a Notre Dame jersey saying Irish on it. I mean, that's, that's kind of a good appropriation. I am it? worried that Notre Dame's going to give in. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Look, the, really? the leprechaun yes. <laughs> no, in not. mythology is searching for the pot of gold. At Notre Dame, the leprechaun is the pot of gold. Yeah. I mean, the dome make, is listen, gold. Yeah, yeah they make a lot of money off the leprechaun, so I think they're going to. They're going to have a hard time taking him away. Yeah, more people could understand Chief Wahoo than the leprechaun. Yeah, I mean, that's but a But I think stretch. still in perspective, even on Chief Wahoo, look, the other part is people take names as a source of pride. They don't take a name right. uh, to insult. And one reason Native American names are popular is it's associated with a fighting and martial mm -hmm. spirit, right? Right. I thought so. Where it goes. All right. As an Irish person, <laughs> I, think, I think fighting's a compliment. Showing yeah. you're going to fight well, <laughs> right. for Irish. You right. can't uh, say but, that now. Right. Some uh, people can't fight. Uh, that's true. Bill McGurn can, can uh, clearly. 